Hey, what's up guys? If you ever want to track a fast moving object or pattern like what we're seeing here, it can get a little bit tricky from time to time. So for our example here, if we want to track, let's say this person's ankle, which is constantly moving up and down, left and right throughout this entire video clip, you will see that the way our tracker is set up right now, it just won't be able to keep up. And even if we change the adaptive mode from none to best match, our tracker still won't be able to keep up. So in situations like this, what we can do is to adjust the search box, which is defined by the dotted lines outside the pattern box. And when we bring up the width as well as the height of the search box, while it will eat up more processing power, it will also yield better results. So for our example here, if we go ahead and track it right now, you will see that yes, it is much slower, but at the same time, it does a way much better job of keeping up with the shifts of the pattern in between frames. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another video here with a fast moving object, which is a barbell in this case. And let's say we want to track the text that is on this barbell. So we're going to set up the pattern box first, and then we're going to change the adaptive mode to best match. And if we just track it right now, you will notice right away the tracker just fails. It just won't be able to keep up. So in situations like this, once again, we're going to use the search box. We're going to adjust that. But one interesting thing about this video is that the text itself is mostly moving up and down. So we're only going to adjust mostly the height of this search box rather than the width. So when we do that, not only will this save us a lot of processing power, but also at the same time, you guys will see that it will yield way much better result. It will be able to keep up with the movement of the text. So yeah, guys, this is basically it. Um, so yeah, a couple of key things here. Uh, one is you know understanding and analyzing the movement itself, and the other one is to adjust the search box, which will definitely help you uh, better track fast moving objects. So I hope this helps, guys, and uh, I will see you next time.